In this video, I will show you how to install mods in the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. This is an updated version of GTA 5 with new graphics, so you need to use a different method to install mods. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a trainer that will help you change the time in the game or the weather. In the trainer, you can use a teleporter or even spawn cars. I will also show you how to install one of the best scripted mods that will add open locations. These are locations from story missions that are not available in free mode. And after installing these scripted mods, I'll show you how to add a real-life car to the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. Using this tutorial, you can install any other mod of this type in GTA 5 Enhanced. Before you start installing mods, you need to open the Rockstar Games Launcher and disable Batli. This will allow you to play with mods in GTA 5 Story Mode. After that, you can start installing mods. Let's start with scripted mods. For script mods to work, you need to install Script Hook 5. Recently, it was updated to the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. After that, you need to open the GTA 5 game folder and open the Script Hook 5 archive. Open the bin folder and copy Dinput 8 DLL, Script Hook 5 DLL, and Zinpu DLL to the GTA 5 game folder. For the old version of GTA 5, we could only copy these two files. But for GTA 5 Enhanced, you also need to copy the third Zinpu DLL file. Without these files, scripted mods will not work on the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. The fourth file cannot be copied, this is the native trainer. I'm not installing this trainer because we'll be installing another trainer from the GTA 5 mods site. Once Script Hook 5 is installed, we can start installing scripted mods for GTA 5 Enhanced. But there is one big problem. Old scripted mods will not work on the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. You need to wait for the update of scripted mods to the GTA 5 Enhanced version, because this is a new version of the game. But even those scripted mods that have been published recently, they may not work either. The old version of GTA 5 and the new GTA 5 Enhanced are two different games. Therefore, not every modder makes mods for this new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. But still, you will be able to find some mods that are already updated for the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. One of these mods is the Simple Trainer. The author of this mod has updated it and now it works on the old version of GTA 5 and on the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. To install this mod, you need to copy all the files from the archive to the GTA 5 Enhanced game folder. To start the Simple Trainer, you need to press the F4 key. After that, you will be able to use all the functions of this trainer. For example, change the weather or time. You can also spawn cars and even use a teleporter in this trainer. This trainer works without errors on the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. Unfortunately, other trainers have not yet been updated for the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. If you install an old trainer, then GTA 5 Enhanced will not work. Therefore, you need to wait for the update of other mods and only after that install them for the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced. The second scripted mod that has recently been updated is the very popular Open All Interiors mod. The mod author has updated it to the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced, so we can copy it to the game folder. This mod will also work. Open All Interiors adds locations that you can enter. These are locations from story missions that are not available in free mode. Other scripted mods cannot be installed in GTA 5 Enhanced yet. We need to wait for these mods to update. Over time, new updated mods will appear, but the installation method does not change. To install real-life cars in GTA 5 Enhanced, there is only one way to replace. This method works at the moment. Maybe in the future we will be able to use the add-in method for the GTA 5 Enhanced version, but for now only replace cars work. You can't take any replace car and install it. You need to look for replace cars for the new version of GTA 5 Enhanced, because the usual replace cars do not work on this version. At the moment, you will be able to install the Lamborghini Aventador from the free Patreon Krogan Mods page. Also, you will be able to install this Peugeot 206. You will not be able to install other cars at the moment. Therefore, we download this Lamborghini Aventador. You also need to download OpenRPF. It's an alternative to OpenIV because it hasn't been updated yet. After that, open the GTA 5 Enhanced Game folder. Open the OpenRPF archive and copy all the files from the archive to the game folder. After that, open the archive of the Lamborghini Aventador. 
Open this folder in the archive and copy it to the GTA 5 Enhanced Game folder. We need to replace files because this is a replace method. The installation of the car is complete and in this way you will be able to install other cars in GTA 5 Enhanced. After that, start the game and start Simple Trainer using the F4 key. Go to the Vehicle Spawn section and find the Fister Comet car to spawn a new Lamborghini Aventador. Because we replaced the Fister Comet with a Lamborghini Aventador, after that, the car will be spawned in the game, and you will be able to drive in the city. You can find and install other replace cars for GTA 5 Enhanced. Over time, their number will increase. Recently, the announcement of the new Natural Vision Evolved graphics for GTA 5 Enhanced was released, so you will be able to install them in this way, but a little later. I recommend playing with mods only in the story mode of GTA 5 Enhanced, but if you want to play GTA Online, then you'll need to move or delete the mods you've copied from the game folder to another location. After that, open the launcher and verify the game files to remove replace cars. After that, turn on Batlie in the Rockstar Games launcher, and you will be able to enter GTA Online without mods. It's a versatile tutorial because I've shown you how to add new mods of different types and remove them. You can always use this method to install new mods in GTA 5 Enhanced. That's all. If you like this video, then subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you all for watching.